Hello, Obisies, and welcome back to another episode of Callum, Callum Reads. And today we are reading The Day the Crayons Quit. Yes, and in this story, there were a bunch of crayons. Oh, crayons, how do you say that? And they quit, they go on strike, and they write letters. Yes, and they voice their opinions about why they are quitting. Let's get into the story, shall we? One day, in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons, precious, and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan! Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. Oh, you long I wear myself out. Coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that is red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked Friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hearts. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dragdor! Dumbledore! Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bearsies, ponies and puppies where the only things I get are turkey dinners. If I'm lucky and wait, yeah. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring weeds? Boom! Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, grey crayon here, you're killing me! I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are grey, but that's a lot of space to colour precious in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales! You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know. So are very tiny rocks. Peppers. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Grey Crayon. Dear Duncan, you colour with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same colour as the page you are using me on. Right! If I don't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk, you empty friend, white crayon. White cat in the snow by Duncan. Call him. Hey, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline. 
kinds of things. Things that are colored and by other colorses. All of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is it too much to ask, precious? Your friend, Black Crayon. How about the Black Gate of Mordor? Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I will tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun. Yellow crayon. There I am, precious. Yes. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you, the big rhino. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattertail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we are no longer speaking, precious. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun, because on Thursday, you use both me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Orange, you're glad I'm here. Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Here is the evidence. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before, and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, riversies, raindropsies, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me some time to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon.
Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping, precious? No, I'm naked. I'm too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwears. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy, and that gave him an idea. What was it, precious? When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring, because he used them all. Yes. And an A plus for creativity. Gollum. We hope you enjoyed this reading of The Day the Crayons Quit. And if you did, don't forget to smash the like button and leave a comment down below. Yes, and if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Do it. You know you want to, my love. Yes, do it. Until next time, Hobbitsies. Gollum, Gollum.